This is Blue Star, the vendor of Equestria. Uh, wait, what? What was that? I I think I heard a vision. Is it, it's time for season eight? Oh my gosh, it is! Yes! <laughs> so, this is Blue Star, defender of Equestria, and this is my next boy reaction video, the premiere of season eight! Yay! <laughs> It's definitely been a while since uh, MOP has been on, so yo. Although I do have to say, with all the shorts and all the other stuff that's been going on online and everything, there's actually been quite a lot to uh, look at and stuff. But still, it's definitely gonna be nice to have the uh, the main show be back. Yes, definitely looking forward to it. What I would kind of like to see is like I think I'd like to see a few more songs. I mean, there were some awesome songs in uh, season seven, but there wasn't really that many, and some of them were kind of functional songs. I kind of would like some more fun kind of songs and stuff and everything. Cause yes, yeah, songs are great. Yes, definitely be. Just to see what happens with the legendary uh, characters and so anyway season eight is literally upon us in five four three two one start <laughs> this happened while we were gone what happened wow what those are all the places we went when we left to save equestria oh cool Look, there's that horrid town where we were almost sold the Ugh. pirates <gasps> they were pretty awesome uh, once they decided not to throw us overboard. <laughs> and now the Oh, Starlight! Did you know we made seashell necklaces for all... All... Uh, wow. I... You... You did? Really? Really? What about I don't remember that, that? Unicorn, <laughs> The one who attacked Canterlot? Oh. Tempest. I invited her to come to Ponyville. <gasps> yes! But she wanted to spread the word of the Storm King's defeat <laughs> and share what she learned about friendship. Oh, good! You don't think that's why the map grew? Friendship quest beyond Equestria? <gasps> I Ooh. hope not. I've had quite enough life-threatening adventures, thank you very much. Really? Huh? Who's... How many friendship quests do you think we need to go on <laughs> before we have to expand the throne room? Yeah, that might be a we while. We can't do it all alone. Nope. Sure we can. We just need to knock this wall down. What? Hey! No. No. I mean, the world is filled with so many different creatures who know nothing about friendship. Aww. We need help if we're going to teach them all about friendship. Yo. Lots of help. Definitely. Yes. But where does one go to learn about friendship? <laughs> here. They can all go here. Because we're going to open a school. A friendship school, eh? Ooh. <laughs> my little pony. My little pony. <laughs> Yo! A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing fun is an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Oh! <laughs> so. Ooh, it's like parts of people like at the beginning of this was like it's like well I hope we find out what happens to the characters that we met in uh, <laughs> in uh, the My Little Pony movie but then I thought no, I really shouldn't say that just yet because that could be a spoiler but apparently it doesn't really matter because it's happening right now so yes <laughs> I was sort of thinking of that are they gonna make us wait for that or is it gonna happen because uh, I don't know it's like parts of me thinking this is sort of spoilers but I, it's kind of been kind of confirmed now it's like they <laughs> sort of thing so it's like if you didn't know now you you know if you didn't know before you know now so <laughs> yes i think for me the reality of that my little pony is back has not quite sunk in because i've been kind of tired and busy and or just tired and just <laughs> and everything so i'm like huh <laughs> it's like yeah it's Sometimes it reminds me when I go to BrodyCon. It's like it's the reality of being at BrodyCon hasn't doesn't quite hit until I when I'm until I'm actually there and stuff. Or it's like it's like I'm here. I'm at BrodyCon. I'm here. But now it's like I'm here. I'm watching the show. I'm reacting again. Yay! It's like cool. And we're gonna see the uh, the the characters from the My Little Pony movie. Yes. And it's also actually a pretty cool thing is that the map is it's growing. Friendship is growing all over the place. It's great. Yes. It's like that was oh. Uh, again, it's sort of weird talking about the movie, and this is going to be going into spoilers for both, but uh, I'll say this anyway. But yeah, it's like, yeah, that was sort of the point of the My Little Pony movie, was to go beyond Equestria and stuff and everything, and uh, I kind of like to see that, you know, that, again, it's it's sort of an interesting problem with the show, is that, you know what, it feels like, a lot of times it feels like, you know, we've, we've done everything we can do. It's like, sometimes we feel like they're these characters, we know them so well, they've 
it feels like there's nowhere else for them to go. So it's kind of a good idea. Let's go outwards. Let's go beyond equestrian and start teaching friendship lessons to creatures, not just to other creatures, not just ponies, and do so beyond equestrian. I think that's a great idea. Yes, that's awesome. I like that idea. So, yeah, ho. <laughs> so, anyway, but we're back. Yes. I think a school of friendship is a wonderful idea, Twilight. So do I. I hope in any way I can. Oh, good. Princess Celestia. School days, part one. What time should school start each day? It really depends. What's the ideal length for class? Do you test regularly? <laughs> oh, well, that's what about class projects? Oh. That's your bare sign seating, open oh. seating, or is that? Too unstructured. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Twilight. Twilight. You are my star pupil. If anyone knows how to run a school, it's you. Oh. There's a nice. big difference between attending a school and running one. It's yeah, not I like agree. there's a rule book to follow. Actually, there is. The really? EEA guidebook is very specific about how to run a school. Oh. The EEA? EEA. I've never heard of that. Should I have heard of that? Maybe. Of course not. You've never run oh. a school before. Good, the good Equestria point. Education Association is a board of learned ponies that oversee every uh -oh. school in Equestria. <laughs> even your school? But you're you! Not even a princess can do whatever she likes when it comes to shaping young pony minds. Good point. The EEA ensures that whether it's unicorn studying magic, pegasi learning weather, or earth ponies researching agriculture, hmm. all schools are held to the same high standard. Oh. They'll need to approve your plan before you can move forward. Oh, okay. Okay, Spike. Eh. Looks like we have a presentation to make. <laughs> okay. After everything we've been through, how hard can that be? <laughs> oh, no. Help. <laughs> really hard. Uh, hello. My name is... Princess Twilight Sparkle. I am Chancellor Naysay. Equestria <laughs> owes you a great debt. But princess or no... We expect you to do things by the book. Okay. I think Twilight shouldn't have a problem with that. Hmm. I think you'll find my curriculum meets all your requirements, Chancellor. Hmm. And can Yikes. we trust you to follow through with this plan? Or will you leave the school unattended to gallop off on your adventures? Hmm, that's a good point. My journey beyond Equestria showed me first hoof that the threats out there are greater than we imagined. Yeah. <laughs> if we want to keep our land safe and create a friendlier tomorrow, we need to teach the magic of friendship far and wide. Hmm. A school for ponies to learn how to protect themselves. Uh-oh. Uh, more like respecting differences and communicating? Yeah. Okay. The EEA concurs. Every pony should be prepared to defend our way of life. Hmm. So, if your no. work is in order, provisional EEA approval is granted. Oh, okay. We will okay. need to observe your school up and running before it can be fully accredited. Oh. Then please, <laughs> join us for Friends and Family Day. It'll hmm. be the perfect time to see our progress. Oh, good. Yay! Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, ah, dear, dear. I'm gonna say even the equestrian needs ponies like the you know needs organizations like them. I'm afraid. <laughs> Aww. It's too much. Too much. This? You think so? I had hoped dressing the part would help you feel the part. Rarity, the school teacher. Oh. This. What? Us. What? Teaching. Teaching. You think I'm an egghead? No. Well, oh. the students are gonna love my confetti cannon class. It's gonna be Okay. Um, hello there. Hello I'm there. Your teacher. <laughs> oh. I hope you enjoy class, but if you don't enjoy it, that's okay too. Hey, where'd everybody go? Get back here. Uh, I don't know about all this. It's hmm. going to be fine. Everything okay. about this school just feels right. Okay. See, if Twilight isn't stressed, you've got nothing <laughs> to worry about. Hmm. And you're it's sure thought. you won't us to be teachers are you in sure classrooms the what? EEA is very clear on how schools should be run oh. we have a huge responsibility and okay. i need you all to do this by the book that oh. means no cannons in class pinky oh Aww, Why not not? A teeny cannon. <laughs> that's a small cannon yeah. i know it's not some big adventure against the forces of evil but this <laughs> could be the most important thing we've ever done I can't Aww. run a school of friendship without my best friends. Hmm. Can I count on you? 
Of course you can, darling. Yay! Call me Professor Egghead. Oh, I'm in. This is gonna ruin my reputation, but it'll be awesome. <laughs> to mention what it's not just ponies oh Ooh. cool yucks that was unexpected <laughs> well that was unexpected <laughs> oh dear oh dear oh dear so <laughs> oh, so yeah this is an interesting thing it's like yeah unfortunately my first thoughts about the what was it the basically the <laughs> the equestrian school board basically it's like yeah it's a good it's a good point that you know it's like we can't even a princess can't just go and do whatever they want by themselves and you know whatever thing it's like they have there has to be someone who they have to be held accountable to some pony so <laughs> so eh, oh well um <laughs> but uh yeah i mean this is an interesting idea because again it's because you know it's like yeah the show has always been about teaching lessons and at first it started with the uh the uh, main six learning lessons and then it's kind of and then it was sort of shifted to you know teaching them with the um basically the um the friendship missions from the, the map missions and stuff and now it's gone to direct you know in a classroom teaching i mean i don't know how long this is gonna last because it is a, they, the um, the school the school board guy did raise an interesting point. It's like, well, what's going to happen when you you know you go off on one of your adventures? <laughs> it is a good point. I mean, it's because like, well, what if there's a big emergency and you have to go save Equestria? What if the map calls you on you know a mission? What are you, what are you going to do then? You know, I was kind of expecting Twilight to sort of you know get other teachers and stuff, and maybe there will be. I mean, it'll be again, it'll be interesting. Is this going to be a long term thing? In some ways. I kind of hope not, because that might kill the show. Because that means they're going to be in this classroom and stuff all the time, and that won't be much fun. But, hmm. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but still, I think this is a great idea. You know, a school friendship. Yay! I think that's a cool idea. Definitely. Again, it's it sort of moves along the, the the sort of you know the teaching arc of the Maid Six and everything, and I think that's kind of cool. Hmm. <laughs> it's like I'm just wondering, is it frozen? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> no, you can't be frozen. I have to find out what happens. <laughs> Come on, cable box. <laughs> okay, good. Oh. <laughs> I must admit, I'm kind of. I feel like there's more to talk about, and I'm probably in 30 seconds from now, I'm going to figure out something to say, but at the same time, I feel like there's not much more else to say other than we're going to find out and stuff. Um. But, uh, <laughs> I kind of feel bad for Rainbow, because it's like, <laughs> it's like, this is gonna ruin my reputation, I'm supposed to be awesome, and it's like, no, if I become a school teacher, everybody's gonna think I'm an egghead and stuff, it's like, no, don't worry, Rainbow, it'll be okay. <laughs> but we're gonna find out, because we're back, yay! Ooh, Changelings Dragons. Students certainly traveled from far and wide to attend Griffins. our school. Princess Celestia helped me reach out to all the kingdoms. After all, friendship is something that needs to be shared with every creature. Hmm, good, good catch. Oh, Welcome to the School of Friendship. I'm your head mayor, Twilight Sparkle. Yay. Please follow Guidance Counselor Starlight to sign in and get your class assignment. <laughs> then we can show you your living quarters. Oh, how nice. Oh, ow. Whoa, sorry. I'm Sandbar. Are you a student here too? No, I just figured I'd randomly stand here and see how many ponies would walk into me. <laughs> Gallus! Hmm. <coughs> yeah. Grandpa Gruff? What are you doing here? Flew all the way from Griffinstone to introduce Gallus. Hmm. Rainbow Dash, right? Hmm. Gilda told me about you. You're a teacher? Ah, hmm. thought you'd be cooler. Oh, uh, ouch. <gasps> this Joda Yap. She come to pony school. <laughs> Make it better. Mm, yes. Yap, yap, wait to meet ponies and tell all about Yap Yap Stan. Run! Ah! Oh. Oh dear. Ow. Oh, nice save. Why don't I show you around before you destroy the place? <laughs> Ouch. The dragons are better than this. Why am I here? Because, as Dragon Lord, I'm ordering you to be here. Ouch. Oh, hey, you didn't hear that. <laughs> Come 
might smolder. Hmm. Great to see you, Ember. <laughs> uh, which one is smolder? But where, where did where did he smolder go? Ocellus, what did we talk about? <laughs> what? I told you, stay in your own form. Hmm. It's the polite thing to do. Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, she's shy. Aww. What is that? Help. No way! I didn't know ponies could turn into... Um, what are you? A hmm. changeling. Ponies can turn into changelings? No, mm. but changelings can turn into ponies. Huh, that's confusing. Yeah, it is, sort of. Ooh. I am General Seaspray of Her Majesty mm. Queen Novo's Navy. Yo. I would like to introduce the mm. Queen's niece, Silverstream. This oh. place is amazing! <laughs> I've spent most of my life in a coral reef underwater. I was a sea pony, but now I'm a hippogriff. Long story. Anyway, yeah. wow! Yeah. Is that a yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, interesting. Thank you so much for supporting the grand opening of our school. Yay. I hope you'll all join us for Friends and Family Day to see the amazing progress your students are making. Yeah. Oh, good. Wait, the students haven't even, like hasn't even started yet. Whoops. <laughs> Take a breath, look around, it's amazing. I can't believe that it's real. Students galore, new ideas to explore can contain the excitement I feel. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that'll be a problem for you, Twilight. <laughs> Why the book is how she is. <sighs> hey. <laughs> Too much. Oh dear. I'm not sure if that method's approved. Yeah. Let me take a look. Uh -oh. Yep, right here in the book. Come on, we just got in the groove. Uh, not now, I'm on a roll. Can't mess up, can't afford a mistake now. What? We are Spider. young minds to ignite. Ugh. Do it like it says in the book. Now make sure <laughs> yeah. you're doing it right. There's not an equation on how to have fun. The <laughs> students look bored now. Well, what have I done? What the? Teach being honest. <laughs> Darn it. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, poor Fluttershy. Oh. Dear. Oh. Make sure to do things by the book now. Uh, can we go home now? Can we tell her this thing is a mess? Hmm. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that didn't go well. Is this what boring is? Am I bored? Probably. Ugh, please, these ponies are the heroes of Equestria. Listen, these ponies saved all of us from the Storm King. How? By boring him into surrender? <laughs> the teachers are a little different than I expected. Ugh! Pony school waste of time! Yak school teach how to braid yak hair! Braiding yak hair is bad! <laughs> oh dear. Ow. Is there anything in Yak Yakistan that isn't the best? Yes! Wait. No! Yak's best. No claws, no wings, no fire. What is it exactly you're proud of? Oh, uh -oh. this is gonna get ugly. To harsh Yona's love for her heritage, okay? Ah, are we not being sweet and friendly enough for you, pony? That was sarcasm, right? Ouch. Because you weren't being sweet or nice. 
Maybe dragons and griffins are just too tough for friendship. Uh-oh. Yeah, tough, just not nasty. Who you call a nasty klutz? Yo. What is going on here? Uh. Just a friendly discussion about the magic of friendship amongst <laughs> yeah, friends. Right. Every pony, I mean every one, <laughs> go to your next class. Yeah, all right. I just can't believe it. Fights breaking out when they're supposed to be learning friendship? Mm. Things definitely aren't going as by the book as Twilight planned. Mm. That's because we're terrible teachers. Oh. Face it, this school isn't gonna work. Oh, don't, don't say that. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. It's like, <laughs> I kind of like that song for starters. It kind of reminds me. It's a good old classic musical song. Yay. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I think that was good. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a bummer, though, but uh, yeah. Mm -mm. Uh-oh. I also think it's like, uh-oh, going into some uh, kind of uh, sensitive topics with the uh, the school and everything and how the school is it has to be run by the book and everything and uh oh it's a touchy subject i think i'm just gonna say that so oh dear because at, at first it seemed like it was kind of working but uh then obviously they have to go and do everything the way that the book says that they have to do and then all of a sudden everything's falling apart so mm. it's like no don't give up on being a teacher just yet Rainbo. i mean it's only the first day <laughs> And it's like, yeah, it's like, it's actually, wow, this is, this is definitely a crowded show. We've got griffins, um, I was gonna say the sea ponies, the sea, no, the, the hippogriffs, the yaks, dragons, ponies, it's a, it's like everybody's here. And it's like, yeah, like all the, it almost feels like all the major voice actors were here because, you know, it's like, Forex was here, Ember was here, um, whatever, some, the guy who played the, what was it, the hippogriff navy? Hmm. The guy, the, the, the leader of the Hippogriff Navy? Hmm. Don't you have to have ships to have a navy? <laughs> but whatever, I think that was uh, kind of interesting. And it's like, yeah, again, this is definitely kind of cool that this is basically, you know, talking of, you know, almost like the aftermath in some ways of the MLP movie. Sort of. I mean, I'm glad that they're actually talking about the MLP movie and they're getting it out of the way basically in the first episode. It's not going to be like, oh, is this going to, you know, we can talk about it, you know, on this episode or that episode. No, we're getting it out of the way right now. So there's like, oh, poor Maid Six and everybody. It's just like things aren't going well. But again, it's only the first day and, you know, it feels like, you know, they barely even started this and they're all, they're all, this is all learning experience for everybody. And yeah, it's interesting that the ponies have to catch the every pony thing and say, uh, everyone, you know, it's like, uh, it's like, sometimes I feel that way. It's like, sometimes when I'm doing this, I have to remember I have to say, I'm supposed to say every, every pony, but, uh, no, nah. obviously, obviously I don't talk that way the rest of the time. Cause if I did, that would be unusual and people would be like, what? <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. But uh, yeah, I think this is going to be sort of interesting. But yeah, I also feel bad for the main six. It's like, this is school. It's like, fights are inevitable. <laughs> Especially when you have such, uh, you know, such different characters and different, you know, different races. Like the Yaks, I have to say, have the problem with that. Yeah, they think they're better than everybody and stuff. And that's obviously going to cause some friction and... But of course, they some of the other characters feel that way too and stuff. But we're gonna feel that we're gonna we're gonna find out what happens next. Oh, yes, the oh, brain is more functioning. Oh dear, everything is terrible. I get it. No. Things are getting off to a rougher start than expected, but yeah. that's okay. Who are you and what have you done with Twilight Spark? <laughs> I was kind of thinking Every that. Every school in Equestria <laughs> follows these rules. As long as we do too, we'll be fine. Maybe we should try something new. The EEA will be here this afternoon for Friends and Family Day. They need to see a school that follows their guidelines. Even if those guidelines aren't working? Well then, we have to try harder and make sure they do. Oh. Another morning, another chance to inspire our students. <sighs> Dear. Hey, Professor Dash's class is this way. Where are you going? You're not... Skipping, are you? <gasps> That's exactly what we're doing. Sacrilege! But friends and family day is after class. Relax. This is just a quick mental health break. Hmm. Oh, uh, that sounds legit. We're in. I guess I'll what? tag along too. Hey, Make sure hey. you don't get into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> this way, oh Angel. dear. Uh oh. Professor Fluttershy, we're busted. <laughs> That's that's my line. 
What? Oh my! What are you all uh -oh. doing? Aren't classes that way? Uh, <clears throat> a generosity field trip, darling. <laughs> hmm. I'm taking wow. the students to the lake to look at our divine reflections. Hmm. That doesn't sound very generous. Oh, that sounds nice. Have fun. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> oh, she's good. <laughs> I take back everything I said about you. That was sure. cool. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, what did you say about me? <laughs> it's okay. What? 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 Sure Wait a minute. The book is gonna work. My friends can handle anything. They'll have these problems turned around before we know it. Problems? Huh? <laughs> Chancellor Naysay, you're here. I didn't know yes. they could do that. And you seem unprepared. If there are problems. Problems? <laughs> Problems? What, what problems? Can't wait to show you around. Oh, good. <laughs> and that's why Griffins breathe fire when we get mad. They do oh, not. No. Wait, do they? No. Really? No, Griffin's they don't. Just full of hot air. <laughs> <laughs> good one. And yaks are actually good at jokes. How about that? What are dragons good at? Competition. Who's up <laughs> for a race? Rainbow Dash, why aren't you in class Rainbow teaching? Dash, where are you? Because my students are gone. <gasps> uh oh, uh, busted. Gone? Somewhere else. God, Doing somewhere else. <laughs> and, and I was just going to grab uh, this pencil because they need it, <laughs> or wherever they are, which I know because <laughs> I'm the teacher. I'm the teacher. I see. <laughs> well, Chancellor, we have other classes. We can just. Let's follow the professor. I'm quite curious about this lesson in loyalty. Uh oh. Oh dear. Of course, we want to instill a sense of loyalty towards others. <laughs> we encourage acts of generosity and kindness. The only ones enjoying the view. Yes, I... not best at flying. An no. appreciation for the value of laughter. Flying is best. Congratulations, Yoda! You are officially the weirdest thing I've seen so far! What do you say, Osellus? Can you be weirder than a flying yak? <laughs> what? And to always be honest in any uh -oh. situation. So weird we couldn't see. <laughs> Don't look! Are we going in circles? Uh, look at the time. Uh, We'd better look at the time. for friends and family day. I'm sure all the students and faculty will be there. <laughs> what is that? Uh, it's a giant bug. Oh no! Run away! Run under attack! Run! The school is under attack! Don't worry, it's okay! Ugh. Ouch! Strike! <laughs> oh, Tuffy! Ow! Ow. Oh dear. Well, that ended horribly. Uh, oh. Maybe skipping class wasn't the best idea? Uh -oh. How dare you? Uh -oh. Act of aggression against ponies. I'm so sorry, Chancellor. Hey, hey, we clearly easy, had some easy. students get a little carried away. Those are students? Those but are students. You said you were opening this school to protect Equestria. To defend ponies from... Dangerous creatures who don't what? have our no. best interests at heart. My hey. school teaches for all of us to work together through friendship. And how do you know these creatures won't take what they have learned here and use it against us? Friendship isn't just mm. for ponies. It should be. What? Unicorns think yaks don't need friendship? Maybe yaks don't need pony school! Well... Then perhaps you should return to your kind. Ouch! Your kind? Smolder, let's go! Now you've done it. Thank thank you for single-handedly undermining friendship. This. Yeah. Well, this place seemed lame anyways. Nice going. It's fine. Oh. We know not every pony sees us the way you do. We're used mm. to it. What? Oh. 
Princess Celestia helped me reach out to all the kingdoms. When she hears you close the school because... Because you failed to meet the EEA's standards? What? Irresponsible teachers, students skipping class, endangering ponies. Your school mm. is a disaster. Perhaps if you had higher standards for who was admitted, this could have been avoided. Ouch. Regardless. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> well, that ended By order badly. Of the EA, I am shutting this school down. Mm, no. Unfortunately, I think that's the least of our problems. It's like to be continued. <laughs> and as always, thank you to you hardworking people for working so hard on the show. Yo. <laughs> Considering that you just ticked off all of our all of Equestria's neighbors, I think that's a far bigger problem. Mm. Oh dear. I don't think Princess Celestia's gonna be too happy about that. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Previously on My Little Pony, you started off so well, but as always ended in total and utter disaster. We are gonna open a school. Expect you to do things by the book. We have a huge Dear. responsibility, and I need you all to do this by the book. These ponies are the heroes of Equestria. This is just a quick mental health break. The school is under attack. Those right. students, I am shutting this school down. <laughs> it's like it hurts even more the second time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. I used to wonder what friendship could be. Until you all shared its magic with me. Yay! I'm sure the main six will fix this. It'll be it'll be okay, everybody. I mean, everyone. Yay! Oh, <laughs> yeah, brain is not functioning doom, 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 a little bit, but yeah, it's just like, whoa, that was just so sad. Because like they were actually making friends. It's like, it's interesting again. It feels like one of those lessons where it's like, sometimes you just need to butt out and just let friendship happen. I mean, sometimes there's something, it's like, yeah, there's all these great lessons about friendship, but sometimes... There's, you can't go to a classroom and learn about friendship. Sometimes you just have to go and do it. You know, it's like, yeah, there's definitely a lot of things, you know. Like, being a little, like, <laughs> for example, yeah, I mean, like, I've learned this myself from, from uh, you know, from making, foam, you know, things out of foam and props and soda props and stuff. It's like, I've got a lot, got a lot to learn. But yeah, it's like, I've learned that you can, you can watch a hundred videos on something, you could read it in a book a hundred times, but you know what, you're not going to learn it until you actually try it and do it. So... Yeah, and sometimes you just gotta stay out of the way and just let it happen. And I think that uh, that might possibly be the lesson that maybe they're gonna close the school and decide, hey, you know what? We're not gonna have a school for this or something. We're just gonna teach, we're just gonna, you know, maybe encourage ponies to, you know, and creatures to get together and be friends and stuff, and then we'll just let it happen. I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> It's like, yeah, ouch. That guy is, uh, the, the school teacher guy is, ouch. <laughs> It's definitely disappointing. I know that Celestia will not be happy about this, because, yeah, it's like, yeah, closing the school was bad, but having all of Equestria's neighbors who were friends be ticked off at us because, oh, we basically, <laughs> in some ways, we're kind of using them. In some ways, it's like, you know, his thought was that, oh, we're going to teach ponies to defend themselves against other creatures, because the very creatures we're trying to make friends with. Hmm. <laughs> Can you say diplomatic incident? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. But uh, yeah, I mean it's. I mean, I mean, parts of me also think is that, you know what? Every school has these problems. You have school students that will skip classes that'll be disrespectful to you know teachers and stuff. It's like this isn't rep this in some ways doesn't necessarily represent bad school. Obviously if it's happening a lot you could say yeah that school's got some problems but I'm pretty sure when I say there's probably not a school out there where no one skips class and no one makes mistakes and everything. There's no school out there that like that. So besides it's like they've just gotten started and you know again this is a learning experience for everyone in this situation. I mean the, st the students are learning, the teachers are learning and 
and this is almost in a way a whole new thing. There's gonna be problems uh, when they first get started, but we're gonna find out what happens because we're back. Yes. Oh. Twilight. Twilight. You feeling okay? No. Uh... She's buried herself in pillows. Don't be sad, Twilight. It'll be okay. <laughs> Poor Twilight. Uh, look on the bright side. Sure, the EEA closed your friendship school, yeah, but now school you've got time to do other two. stuff. It's like being on vacation. Oh, a failure vacation. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the princess of friendship. And all I did was make enemies with Equestria's allies, oh. upset my friends, mm -hmm. and get my school. Unaccredited. Oh. There is no bright side. <laughs> oh, poor Twilight. Okay, then. I'm going to need backup. <laughs> Operation Cheer Up is a go! <laughs> Everybody get in here Come now! Come on, Twilight! You can't sit around in the boring dark all day. Yeah, Pick that'd be sex. boring. What you need is a double dose of Granny Smith's apple mash. No. Really? <laughs> Whenever I'm not. sad, a hug from Angel Bunny always makes me feel better. Oh. What? You want me to hug her? Oh, okay. <laughs> Yay! Oh. <laughs> it didn't work, no! Maybe it's just me. <laughs> I find that nothing brightens my mood like a new ensemble. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. What? Uh, Thanks, Rarity. Thanks, it's a great dress. <laughs> For somebody who knows how to run a school. Oh, poor Twilight. You didn't tell me this was a pity party. <laughs> I want a bright ice cream. <laughs> I appreciate you trying to make me feel better. But Aww. not everything can be fixed with dresses and cupcakes. Yeah. What? what? No. <laughs> I just need some time to be alone and think. Oh. Poor girl. It sounds like she's had enough time, but still. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I wondered how long you'd take to get tired of pillow fort pouting. <laughs> Every pony's already tried to cheer me up. It won't work. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna cheer you up. Okay. I'm gonna tell you what you did wrong. Oh, good. What? That'll make me feel better. <laughs> you gave up too easily. Hmm. True. Hey, sure you enough. made me a guidance counselor. That means tough love. True. They say was right. I failed. The school was a disaster. So was I when you met me. Hmm. But you showed me that when you know in your heart something is right, you stand up for it. Yo. You did that for me. Why not for this? Hmm. It's a good point. I can't go against the EEA. They're in charge of all the schools in Equestria. And you're in charge of all the friendship in Equestria. Yo. Why should you let some pony else stop you from doing your job? Yo. But the EEA rule book doesn't <laughs> matter. Oh. You can write your own rules because you are doing something new, mm. something important. Mm. You're right. Why we're doing this is way more important than how we're doing this, mm. and we are doing this. Yo! Now that's the Twilight I know. Uh. How can I help? You already have. No. Yay! Is this gonna be a little problematic Get though? What? Mm. The School of Friendship is back in business. How are we gonna do what? that? But why? But, oh no. <laughs> but, Where but are why? You? Do we still get to guess? No offense, Twilight, but teaching at that school was the most boring, horrible, awful thing ever. <laughs> uh, pretty sure she's gonna take offense to that. Yeah, no. I think that Rainbow may have been Dash the is right. I owe you all an apology. Oh. I was so focused on doing things the EEA way, I didn't listen to any of you. Hmm. I'm sorry. I promise this time we'll run the school like friends should. Hmm. Together. Yay! So... We'd be allowed to teach however we want to? Mm. No more scary pop quizzes? <laughs> Confetti cannons for every creature? Yay! <gasps> There's cannons everywhere. <laughs> Whatever you need to teach the elements of harmony. Yay! <laughs> In that case, we're behind you 100%, Twilight. Oh, good. <clears throat> <clears throat> Just two small problems. Yeah. The school is still unaccredited. And we don't have any students. Bummer. I'll take care of the first part. If you five can round up our class. Okay. Totally. Uh, Wait, what? How? Yeah, how? Rounding Good point. up the pony students ain't gonna be an issue, but... The creatures from the other kingdom seem pretty upset with us. I, I can't imagine why. Nonsense. I'm certain we can win them over without charm and style. Uh, I don't think so. Cupcake Grandpa Prince, rather 
<laughs> Why Pink Pony here? Uh. Yaks mad at Pony. Mm. Get lost. Ah! You're not uh. scared anymore. We're reopening Twilight Sparkle's School of Friendship, and it's gonna be super, super, super better than before. We're ever so sorry about mm. the misunderstanding. Uh oh, she's got the staff. All <laughs> creatures are of course welcome. We would be really happy if you sent your student back to class. It won't be the same without him. Mm. We're open and ready to start teaching right now. So, what no. are you waiting for? Get your student and let's go. Not happening. Aww. Do you need me to do the whole apology and explanation mm -hmm. thing again? <laughs> okay. <gasps> Listen, Missy. It's not happening because our student is gone. What? 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 They're gone? Well, that wasn't the answer I was expecting. <laughs> what do you mean they're gone? <laughs> No, the horror! <laughs> I mean, there are parts of me that are like, I'm glad that they're doing this, but at the same time, they're basically deciding that we're gonna basically do whatever we want, and in a way, you know, forget the the the, the school board. Uh, that would be kind of problematic. Oh dear. But we will see. Uh, but it's like, what? The students are gone. I, I hope they've gone off to make friends and stuff with all the other creatures because that would be that would be great but otherwise that would be bad that wasn't that definitely was not the answer i was expecting i was gonna say huh, you know what you ponies don't really want to be friends with us and, 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 and stuff like that and everything it's like we don't like you and stuff because you said mean things to us but uh no they're just gone bummer <laughs> in some way yeah it's like unfortunately yes in some ways, I kind of liked, now going back to Twilight, I kind of liked seeing Twilight like this because, you know, it's, like, it's great that Twilight's a princess, but I think it's good to have reminders kind of like this, that Twilight's still Twilight. She still gets anxious about stuff, and she definitely gets sad and be like, no, and, like everything is terrible and stuff and everything. Because, yeah, those parts of Twilight didn't go away. That just said usually Twilight has better control of them, which is why that was such a great in the first part of this, like when Spike says, what have you done with the real Twilight? <laughs> you know, it's like Twilight is totally not anxious she feels like she's in charge and everything and in some ways twilight should feel that way it's like she's got a book she's doing a school you know it's like is is like this twilight should have no problem handling this so it should be great and i do think it was it was great that um starlight glimmer was like no i'm not here to cheer you up i'm here to tell you your mistakes and that's uh sometimes yeah when you have a problem that's the first thing is you gotta tell you where did you get wrong you know where, what was the problem you can't fix a problem unless you know what it was and of course the problem is is simply that um yeah is that they're trying to follow these rules and the rules aren't working is the short answer i mean Exactly, mm, I was gonna say, exactly why they aren't working might be an interesting thing to go into, and maybe we'll go into that a little bit more, but again, that gets problematic, because yeah, it's like, it's uh, pretty obvious they're trying to comment on the way that real schools are run and stuff, and again, that's problematic and difficult, but, mm, but yeah, it's like, yeah, but I, I kind of have to agree with, I think, the point they're making, I think it's the short answer. <sighs> yes, 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 so, um... But yeah, it's like, it's just, um, so, so far I think this episode is okay. It's definitely not a question of shattering episode. And we still haven't seen Tempest yet. Mm, I want to see Tempest. And it's like, <laughs> but maybe we'll see her next because we're back. So, yo. <laughs> Where Yoda? It's all Yoda? Uh-oh. You're pretty quick to blame them. The throne room change? hiding, yak? Can, okay, everyone can we calm just down, focus on finding down. our lost students? Nice try! You grubs are probably hiding the whole lot of us! What would we do that Please, for? every creature. If you can just explain what happened. The students left us notes before they disappeared. When the school closed, they didn't want to say goodbye to each other. They claimed they ran away to stay together. Aw, but that was I nice. I can't believe it. They did learn friendship. Yay. Uh, Twilight. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. The students couldn't have done this by themselves. Some creature is hiding them. If the niece of our queen is not found soon, I promise there will be retribution. Oh dear. Yeah, well my dragons will burn every kingdom until we find which of you is hiding Smolder. Pala, pala, Griffin army. Yes, fight griffins and dragons. 
The Changeling Empire can't afford an international incident. Yeah. If any creature blames the Changelings for this, we're gonna die. You shapeshifter. But we're friends. We're friends, remember? Find the students quickly, Twilight, or I fear our world will be at war. No! You know things are bad when Celestia okay, says that. <laughs> let's review what we know. Smolder, Ocellus, Silverstream, Yona, and Gallus disappear together. Okay. And? That's all we know. Bummer. <laughs> They're probably just off hiding somewhere. Unless they use some kind of spell to disappear. Hmm. Ooh, or went undercover. Okay. Maybe they were attacked by a ferocious shrimp. Nobody ever expects that. <laughs> Shrimps can attack. Oh no. <laughs> That's why no pony expects it. Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh. Pay no attention to the ticket in my mouth. <laughs> Hi, Sambar. Are you having a party? Oh. Right. Oh, I'm no. just uh. um really hungry. <laughs> I, I, we I don't know anything. Need to think like our students. <laughs> if someone told us we would never see each other again, what would we do? Go someplace we could all hang out and eat lots and lots of cupcakes. Hmm. Follow that pony. What? Sambar was friends with all of the missing students, and he just got plenty of cupcakes. Oh, good. Hmm. He was at the farm this morning picking up a wagon load of apples. Hmm. And I saw him in a shop buying pillows and blankets. <gasps> he must be taking all that stuff to the other students. We gotta follow it. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Uh, this place is way cooler than I thought it'd be. Hmm. Oh, ow. <laughs> Even I'm impressed. What's it called again, Osalis? The Castle of the Two Sisters. Hmm. I remembered it from class. Princess Twilight's history of pre equestrian friendships. Oh. Ha. Ah, who knew? <laughs> school was actually good for something. <laughs> Yona not really like school, but Yona like new friends. Oh, good. That smolder, <clears throat> like <clears throat> breathing. Help. <laughs> hey, you guys. Sandbar is back. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Cupcakes are fifty! Um, give me those cupcakes! What? Aw, oh, that was mean. <laughs> nice recovery. Thanks for the assist, Gallus. I was saving the cupcakes. <laughs> well, that was oh. very friendly. <laughs> Hello! How nice! The castle is going to be so much more comfy. <sighs> and fun! Pillow fight! I just found stairs! Ah, uh, stair. And we care because. Stairs are awesome! We don't have anything like them underwater because, you know, no way to climb them. Huh? Oh. How did she do that? This place has everything! Wait, wait a minute, what? What the heck just happened? Only my family back home could see it. Ow. Hmm. I wish the other changelings could meet you all. They're not nearly as strange as the story say. Hmm. Gee, thanks. <laughs> but yeah, hanging out with other creatures is actually uh, not bad. Hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, most other creatures. What is that thing? <sighs> Am I the only one who didn't sleep through Professor Fluttershy's Critters of Comfort and Conflict class? Hmm. It's a Pukwudgie. Maybe a what? I can make friends with it. Um. Yep, then better. Yeah. Charge! Oh, incoming! <laughs> <laughs> nice save. Oh dear. I think they're hostile. Retreat! <laughs> uh oh, time to circle the wagons. <laughs> oh no! We're all doomed! I hope the mates I hope the Mixix get there soon! It's like save the kids! Charge! <laughs> ah, so I don't know. <laughs> it's like this part of the beginning. Well, the mystery's solved, so. 
It's like, really, it's just, when are the main six going to get here? <laughs> it's like, hurry up, you have to go save the kids! Where are you? <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. So, uh, it's interesting. I mean, um, yeah, it's like, did the throne, did, did Princess Celestia and Luna's the throne room change? I mean, I must have been in the MLP movie it changed. It was, yeah, it was more like that. It was like blue and stuff, which, hmm. <laughs> It's like, hmm, why did that happen? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> In some ways, that would have kind of made sense at the end of the MOP movies. It's, it kind of got destroyed a little bit. Yeah, it got put back together again, but no, well, anyway, again, it's. I, I feel uneasy talking about the MOP movie mid stuff, but I guess, again, ugh, I don't know. Spoilers and all that! It's like, I hate spoilers, but I don't know. I'm losing it. <laughs> so I'm sorry if those were spoilers or not, but I guess if you've seen the MLP, if you've ever seen the MLP movie by now, or you're probably not going to, so I don't know. But anyway, still. Yeah, it's like, I, I think it is great that, you know, all these characters are getting along, they're having, they're being friends! Yay! I mean, that's great. I mean, that's just so awesome. It's like, we, <laughs> there are parts of me thinking, how did they get here it's like well i guess it depends you know did they I, I guess they got all the way home and then they got all the way back here and then i just wonder how did that happen mm. <laughs> i don't know it's like i mean this is certainly an interesting um kind of you know sort of an interesting follow-up to the mop movie but by itself it's really not that interesting or exciting it's like i hope they succeed i hope that the school works and everything and but um yeah i'm not like obviously there's no big huge crisis here well actually i guess there kind of is because now all of equestria's uh, allies are all angry and bad with us and there could be war no it's like again it's like what celestia tells you something tells you something like that things are really bad <laughs> no if celestia's worried you should be worried but anyway I'm sure everything will be fine because we're back. Yo. Uh oh. <laughs> Get him. Bingo, Zealous. Did Professor Fluttershy say anything about how to beat Pugwudgies in her lecture? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember. Darn it. I'm going to go ahead and guess it's not pillows, apples, or cupcakes. <laughs> Good question. Good question. Uh, guys, they're getting really close. They're they're kind of hostile. Yona not scared. Yona have friends. Yay! Let's go get them. <laughs> well, unfortunately, they're coming for us. Oh. Yay! Hey, 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 hey! We're stuck. Us down. Is that Professor Egghead? <laughs> hey! <laughs> ah! Oh my God! What? Ah. Help me! <laughs> hey! Oh. No! Don't hurt them! Just ask them to leave nicely. Yeah. Uh oh, Piggy's pie's got a cannon! And then shoot them into the next county! Whoa! <laughs> Not! <laughs> for pony. For a pony. Wow, they're amazing. Yay! I had no idea our teachers were actually cool. <laughs> I've been trying to tell you. Oh, did you see that? Rainbow Dash was like, yeah, but there's world, and Puck Wiggies went flying, and then the birds came in. Yeah, we all just lived it. But you're mm. right, that was pretty amazing. Even by dragon standards. <laughs> Run away! Is every creature all right? Uh, yeah. yeah. You're lucky we got here in time. You know, this probably isn't the safest place for a campout. No. Does that mean you're going to send us back to our homes? Mm. Not exactly. We have another option in mind. Oh, good. We're listening. Yeah, it's like, and it's that would be. It's pretty clear you've already started learning friendship without your teachers. Yay. But we'd like to show you even more. If you'd come back to school. No. Not much of a choice. To be honest, we felt exactly the same way when Twilight told us she was reopening the school. But this time, we guarantee it shall be different. Oh, yeah. When class run my way, it'll be 220% cooler. Mm -hmm. And without the EEA, it'll Ow. be much friendlier. Uh -oh. <laughs> Plus, all your nations won't go to war if you come back with us. <laughs> Bonus! Uh, wait, what? Wait. What's happening? Yeah, what's going on? Uh. Hmm. Ah, 
my dear. Twilight, I was so relieved to get your letter. Uh-oh. As was Queen Novo. Oh, we're just glad you're all right, Silver Street. Don't expect a welcome party from me, Sonny. It's time you got home. Ow, 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 ow. I'm not leaving. What? What? None of us are. Sorry, Thorax. You have to understand. This pony joke. No. No, we're going back to school. How? You can't even get inside. <laughs> I think Twy will be able to handle that. <laughs> Huh? Mm. Oh my gosh. You broke our seal, how dare you? Who dared remove my seal? I did, Chancellor Naysay, and I respectfully ask you to step aside, or classes will start late. Classes won't start at all. Mm. The EEA has spoken, and none shall pass. Yes, pass if yes. Yeah, this know. is for the greater good. The school was disorganized, the teachers unqualified, and those dangerous and unpredictable students oh dear. put ponies' lives in danger. Uh-oh. I'll show you unpredictable. Hey, no, 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 everybody. <laughs> Hold on, please. I'm sure Princess Twilight Sparkle has a good explanation for all of this. Hmm. I do. It's true that my school of friendship is EEA unaccredited. Look, she said it without doing the art thing. <laughs> then it is not a school. It's not an EEA school. It's a friendship school. With its own rules. Hmm. I should know. I wrote the book. These students reminded me that every friendship is special, so the way we teach it has to be just as unique. Hmm. My school is going to do things differently. Allowing all of these creatures to attend your school, changing the rules for them, it simply won't work. I seem to recall something about Earth ponies, unicorns, and pegasi doing something similar, don't you? I promise you, Chancellor, my school will help protect Equestria. Or destroy it. Oh dear. <laughs> How is this school going to be any different from last time? Good question. <laughs> Trust me. This brand new school of friendship is hard yeah, you never to saw everyone. Him. We're learning how to trust. We're here to all have fun <laughs> with friendship ties that bind us. Tattered than the strongest bond. <laughs> There's a griffin in the garden, hippogriffs hang in the hall, and the door will be open to all creatures, great and small. And the yak or two or three singing perfect harmony. Yay! Been a changeling, but it kind of looks like me. <laughs> the school of friendship is for all. <laughs> Oops. Yay! <laughs> Some things you just can't teach with books. Yep. <laughs> Some things you only know. So trust your heart and Once we master kindness, we will spread it across <laughs> this land. And give the gift that ours to share so others understand. The school of friendship is for all of us, a place where we belong. Where we all learn to share and trust. The only rule here is to find your way, and friendship always wins. Yay! I like it. Oh, fine! If you promise to stop singing, small can <laughs> No stay. more singing! 
can't take it. it... Uh, if dragons stay, <laughs> react stay. Okay. I know you will make the changelings proud. Oh, good. Sons. You belong here. Yay. Now, can you show me those stair things you mentioned? It's like stairs. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> what? You belong at home. You think I care if you've made friends? <laughs> Please, Grandpa Grub. Please. <laughs> no. All right, all right. All right. Stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I make a pretty good guidance counselor, oh, huh? Oh, good. Yes. Writing a rule book was the most fun ever. I can't wait to start <laughs> working on the new lesson plans. <clears throat> With some help from my friends. Oh, good. Yay. Friendship prevails once again. It was a beautiful thing. Yay! And as always, thank you to you hardworking people for working so hard on the show. Yo! It's like, that was cool. I like it. Yes! <laughs> ah, dear. Oh dear. <laughs> So that was school days. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of interesting things. I mean, this is this the way the show's gonna be from now on? That we're gonna basically be in the school all the time, or is this gonna be a side thing, or is this not the, the focus of the show? So I'm, I'm really excited to see what happened for next episode. We didn't get to see Tempest. Mm. <laughs> I thought they said the Tempest was going to be here, but oh no. Or maybe she said the... I don't know, whatever. <laughs> but another interesting thing I really liked about this episode, Celestia actually got to do something. Celestia actually had a role here, and it really made sense for, for Celestia to have a role here. This only affects them all. This affects Equestria and all their allies. This is a world issue that she has to deal with. As leader of Equestria, she has to go deal with it. But I also like that it's like, you know, I'm sure Twilight has an explanation. I trust you, Twilight, to handle this. She's giving Twilight the chance to basically explain herself and all that, and I think uh, that was uh, good. I like that. Yo, it's still kind of problematic that basically they're deciding to override the school board. And as much as everybody loves school boards, there is a reason why the school boards are there, and that's to make sure that things do happen a certain way, and that things are okay and stuff, and that people, teachers don't abuse their authority and their power and stuff, and so I'm a little on that one, but I do agree that, yeah, I mean, you can't, there's definitely, when it comes to friendship lessons, you really couldn't have a school of friendship and run it the way a traditional school would run. I don't think that would work and stuff. And there's parts of me are almost thinking exactly what would these lessons be like? In some ways, you can't teach generosity, loyalty, and all those things directly in, like, a classroom. Hmm. But then again, you could say the same thing about, well, you can't teach these things with it through a TV show that was originally designed to sell toys, now can you? <laughs> well, they busted that one. <laughs> and it definitely is great to have all these uh, creatures here. That's just so great. There's definitely a lot of focus on worthy things going on in this episode. The hippogriffs are able to change back into sea ponies? Hmm? I thought they needed the pearl for that, but hmm. My own headcanon thought is that I noticed their necklaces, that maybe that's a tiny, itty-bitty little bit of that pearl that enables them to do that. But again, that's getting off topic, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they're just fudging it. <laughs> I did like the overall message and theme of this episode was that, you know, we all can be friends and, you know, and everything, and I like that, and that's great. And that, yeah, I mean, obviously that, you know, we can't run everything the same way. That, yeah, I mean, that hippogriffs are different than griffins, and uh, changelings and dragons and ponies, that you can't just do one thing and expect it to work for everyone. And uh, sometimes when you're doing something new, you gotta, the rules have got to change. If you were going to have a school friendship, it couldn't run the way a traditional school would. I don't think it would work. I mean, what are you going to do? Have standardized testing for friendship? That wouldn't work out very well. <laughs> Again, you know, that's also getting into a little mm, problematic, difficult territory there. All I'm going to say is I kind of agree with the point and everything that it's trying to make. I mean, this wasn't the most exciting or cool opening uh, of a season ever, but um, I think it was actually pretty good and I definitely like it. And 
it definitely opens up a whole new direction for the show to go. I'm always thinking, they're going to turn this into Equestria Girls, but for ponies. <laughs> and griffins and all the other species and creatures and whatever. So <laughs> we're going to hang out at the school and stuff. And I think this we're going to be seeing a lot of the school, but probably they're not. this isn't going to be the focus of it. But yeah, even if they decide that this is going to be, you know, this isn't going to be the focus, that we're still going to go back to the school once in a while. And because it's right next to the Castle of Friendship. It kind of made sense. <laughs> that was how appropriate. I think overall it was pretty good. It wasn't the greatest ever, but it definitely was. It was It was so touching in a way. It's like, I just love seeing a good team and creatures coming together. Yay! It's like, there is hope for us yet, I tell you. <laughs> And I think that's uh, great. I think it is great. And it's also great that these kids started becoming friends uh, essentially on their own and everything. And I, I think it's just great. And um, I definitely really enjoyed this one and everything. So, so I think I'm rambling on about this. So I think it's time to stop. So definitely looking forward to seeing what happens next in season eight. And as always, uh, it's always thank you to you all, to Team MLP for working so hard on the show and for doing such an awesome job. Yo. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and until next time, this is Blue Star. Stay strong, and pony on. Blue Star out. Or maybe I should make that friendship on, now that we have all these other creatures here. It might make more sense to say friendship on now, so... <laughs>